Hi, welcome to Houston Art Tribe. I am Kay Sarver and I'm sitting here with Earl Staley, thoroughly enjoying him working in his next to a perfect studio, live-in studio. This is just exciting. This yes, isn't it? <laughs> well, here we are together. Okay. And I'm totally not paying any attention to you. <laughs> that's okay. No, because, you, you uh, can. That's what I like to no, do. No, I, I love that. That's so and real. I'm, that's... I'm working on a series of pictures which yeah. I call Tex-Mex. Yeah. They're Texas and yet they're Mexican. So these are winged cow skulls. I love it. So it's cow skulls with horns for Texas. And then I'm breaking it up with wings and patterns for Mexico. And it's an old image of mine. I uh, first found this image back in 74. And it's in a painting I did with glitter back then. Mm -hmm. And it's in the museum collection. I think that it's going to be in the show at the Glacelle that uh, Pete is putting on, Pete Gershom, for his book. Wow. Anyway, it's a very old painting, and it's a painting which was shown at the Whitney. Oh my and then, so there's this cow skull in the middle of this vast dirt wasteland. Yeah. And it's made of glitter. So it's a dirt painting with glitter on it. The glitter is the Mexican part. And so this skull is in the middle of a wasteland in this green, green sky way up. It's 12 foot. It's 12 foot wide painting. It's oh my gosh. Totally enormous. Wow. But I was, there was some bad shit going down. <laughs> so I was, this was my salvation. And my salvation was to uh, really tell stories. And, but all artists tell stories. So there's nothing bad, nothing, in, nothing incredible about that. This uh, Picassoid, Cubist, Mexican, Texas cow skull. And this is a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to break it all up into different shapes and sizes and then put color to it. But this stuff is a, uh, what? Well, it looks almost meditative to, to be doing what you're doing. I mean, you look like you sort of get into it without thinking about it too much. Uh, I don't know. No, it's yeah. altered. I, I think about it, but I don't think about it. Like, right. okay, I got the idea. I know where I'm going with this because I've done the drawings before. Mm -hmm. And I've done a few paintings like this. So this morning I said, well, I think I'll do one of these and on a large scale because I've done so many recently. I, have, I don't work generally on a big scale, I work on small scales like I have on the door. Yeah. But I got these and I said, well, why don't you do a big one? So I yeah. said, why not? So, you're, so you, you work it out sometimes on something smaller and then... Yeah, but what goes on here, after I've got it laid out, mm -hmm. is entirely instinctive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I work on the assumption that whatever I do, I can save it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I'm not worried about not saving something. Mm -hmm. Or at the very worst, I'll, I'll wipe you out. Just <laughs> okay. get out. Wipe, 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 wipe out. And well, I have done it. I, I don't like doing it because it's sort of like, well, there was another kid. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So I really love seeing just an artist in some kind of process. I mean, I think this is valuable to, to be recording this. It's pretty talking. mundane. It's just work. <laughs> I mean, you know. You know it's, this is very mysterious. <laughs> really, I think I sometimes. I have deep thoughts. And I'm like, oh, I do oh think we God, get. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? We get too precious sometimes when we work it's on something. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a piece of paper. It's really great. It's no big deal. <laughs> well, and that's I what think, that's what I mean when I say I should be. I think life is a series of plays. Yeah. If you're playing it really play it and I'm playing it I've been yeah. able to play it I figured that out <clears throat> as a very young man um, I've been following you probably ever since I picked up my first book uh, the fresh art book. fresh paint fresh paint book thank fresh you paint. I was a star then oh my gosh oh my god and then 50 Texas artists I walked on water <laughs> and I sank <laughs> oh. I know, I think I heard somebody, it might have been John Alexander, somebody I heard speak, and he said, you know, there is no there. You know, you think you're there, and then you're constantly... Well, you better not stay there. That's true, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if, you know, in terms of fame, I don't know what that means. I'd love to be able to sell paintings, but... Uh, oh my gosh, yeah. It's so hard. It it's hard. People will buy a pair of shoes rather than a painting. Yeah. It's like... 
painting is like, oh, now I got to hang it on the wall. Oh my God, I won't fit with my drapes. What will the neighbors <laughs> say? What will Mrs. So-and-so or Mr. So-and-so say? Oh, that's so what true. do you think of it anyway? Oh, I don't know. It's too big. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Like someone said. That's why you have a dealer to sell your work because they have to cater to the public. And they, mm -hmm. they, they really, if they, if and when they can sell, mm -hmm. it's uh, wonderful because we can't. Yeah, I, I, I know, I so agree. I mean, I know... Some people know how to do it. Some people are good at it. I wish I could avoid it entirely, and I know most artists probably feel that way, too. Yeah, well, I know selling's great, but it sure doesn't stop the passion of what you do. I'm glad to hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very good to live in a city like Houston, where there's a, there's a lot of communities of artists. Yeah, there's We sure. each have an individual community if we're old enough. And if you're a young artist, you have the young artist community. So there's a lot of people that I know and many people I don't know. And the nice thing about painting these portraits is that I meet a lot of people here yeah. in the UK. I've yeah. not met yes. you before. And most of the, lot, half of these people I have never met before. Isn't that wonderful? And I get to talk to them. Oh, I just it's so you so connect with people when you paint them. Um, well, so many of us are really uh, hermits. Yes. I mean, what are you doing? I'm painting. Well, what, you want to do something? No, I'm I'm happy. I'm painting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I should get out more to openings, but I, I don't get. I, I will go like the day of and go look at the work, and I know I should probably get out. Do you find yourself? I don't go at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's boring to me and I really don't see anything I like. I'm terrible. Yeah. Terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm, arts, I'm an art snob. <laughs> All my friends are art snobs too. <laughs> well at least you're out about it. <laughs> that's important. But I like what you do. It's good. You, I mean if you say what do you do you like my work? Sure, that's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You're doing what you do. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're happy. What you do doesn't offend me. <laughs> good. <laughs> Don't offend me at all. We, we it's like two different churches. I yes. have my church. You have your church. Absolutely, that's true. Um, I don't know what I, okay, throw some, me a line. <laughs> it doesn't feel right doing that. I don't know some of these other. You just you just did this piece recently, even didn't well, you? Well, actually, that piece over there I started in March. Okay. And it's based on an early Christian sculpture of Jonah. Escaping from the whale. Okay. It's in Cleveland, okay. and uh, it looks pretty good. It looks great. I, I really haunt our history, and at that moment, I felt like I could do it. So I did mm -hmm. some drawings of it. I did watercolor, and then I started that. I anyway, heard. I started in March, and I thought I finished it. Then I worked it again because it wasn't finished. I worked on it again for mm -hmm. the months. And the last time I worked on it was in May. And I said it was finished, and then it sat there and sat there and sat there and kept looking at me, and I kept looking, and I said, no, <sighs> not what I want. And so, Monday, I guess, or no, Sunday, mm -hmm. I was moving things from this wall over to here so I could open this wall for portraits. Yeah. And I moved that and looked at it, and I said, wait a minute, I know, you know what to do. Instinctively, I knew what to do. So I put yeah. it on the easel and went bing, 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 and it was done. It's really and all it is is swirly lines, but it needed the yellow. Oh my gosh, that's it great. It needed the yellow, because the yellow, it was white, and it didn't have oh. any fur. You can see the white still in there. Yeah. But the yellow, and then the yellow swirl that goes all the way down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> and it's no longer a children's, of course, Jonah. It's simply an escape. Oh my gosh, no, it's wonderful. I, I, and that's, that's really good. That's a nice, I'm glad you like it. It's good. Oh, very much so. I'm very pleased with it. Yeah. That's like old school Stanley. That's, that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. 80s. That's it's, Staley from Rome. It's definitely it's reminiscent yeah. of something yeah. that I've seen that you've done. Yeah. Do you often do that? You like put something aside if you're not quite, or you don't even think it's, or maybe you think it's done, but you put it aside and then... No, all the time. Yeah, I do too. All the time, it's terrible. <laughs> People who watch these, the few that have been watching so far, are mostly, <laughs> are mostly artists, I yeah. think. <laughs> from, from Archway Gallery. <laughs> It does feel like I'm, yeah, so far, 
experimenting on the people I know. The yeah, people we all start like that. Everybody, the first ones are, I'm a guinea pig. Yeah. It's like the people up there are all guinea pigs. The first top row are yeah. really, truly guinea pigs. And I got away with it for the most part. And then they keep improving, 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 until now I'm really rock and rolling over there. I just, yeah, you really do see a difference in your... They've changed. They and have, developed. they and have. And so with, with these I'm working on, I got one of Mike Hollis back here, and I'm working with Harvey Bott. Mm-hmm. But these are in progress. He's almost done. I really love that I'm on the rockin' and rollin'. Oh yeah, you're, you're right up there. <laughs> After I got done with Gilbert, uh, then I had Jill, and then you, mm -hmm. and it was like, oh yeah, this is good, this is good. So what inspired this, um, you know, doing some portraits? Did you just, like, one day wake up and go, hmm. Essentially, yes, except I, I posted some of my earlier portraits that I did in the 80s. And in the 80s, I was doing the same thing, only I was working strictly from life. They came three times to mm -hmm. my studio. So I did a whole, maybe 50 portraits there. Yeah. And then I moved on. Then I moved to New York and did some portraits there. And I did it periodically over the next periods. But I didn't devote myself to it. Mm -hmm. But somehow, I, I, I don't know, maybe it was the Obama portrait or something. That came up. Oh, yeah. But I remember the uh, that I, I posted portraits that I still own. Most of the portraits I gave away. Mm -hmm. But the portraits that five or six that I still own, I posted them on Facebook. And then I found the sketchbook which had the drawings in it. So I posted all the drawings. I got a lot of, a lot of response. I said, oh yeah, a lot of likes. You know, like, yeah, yeah, checking yeah, my yeah. likes. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, we gotta check our likes. So I said, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do this. And then I, I saw Randy and Pete Gershom. And I said, hey, would you suppose? He said, sure, because Pete says yes. He's one of those people who said yes. Yeah. And uh, okay, so I couldn't do it while I was teaching. Okay. Yeah. So I had to wait until May, and so I called Pete, and he said, "Yeah, I'm coming over." So I started with him, and then I got people who live up here mm -hmm. with my neighbors, mm -hmm. and then then it built. Yeah. So it was, and learning that what I first said. Two sessions, three sessions of two hours each. Oh yeah. He's like, yeah. beg your pardon, <laughs> <laughs> you know, dude. <laughs> I, so, I know. And yeah. then by the time with you, it was two, two, two sessions. It was great. I, you came twice. Now the now you only get forty-five minutes. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Here, I do a drawing, I take a photograph because originally I said I wasn't going to do photographs. Like, mm -hmm. please, no photographs. Uh, okay. I don't do photographs. Okay. Yeah. I, and after a while, there. I said, well, why not? It, whatever it is, it will never look like a photograph because of the way I see it. Exactly. It's going to be a statement. Exactly, yes. There are some people you can say, oh, yeah, that's a photograph. Yes. I know you're looking for a photograph. Yes. With yes. me, eh, I like that. Yeah, I do too. It gives the personality. Yeah. It, it's it does. It is. And you can see that in a photograph. And actually, I took multiple photographs when I did my portrait series. and. But I, I'm so with you to ask someone to sit there. If I can, I come over like four times this week. <laughs> you know, I just it was no. hard. So yeah. Um, I was amazed that I could do it, even do it, because it was very intimidating after forty years. Oh yeah. From 19, yeah. The last one's in nineteen ninety to now, so that's yeah. thirty years, almost wow. thirty years. I have wow. I've only did a couple, and a couple that I did were. Uh, not well received oh, so I didn't make wow. I did so this I just made a concerted effort to uh, yeah well it was it's right. like trying something that you know you can't do yeah and find that you actually can do it I love that as opposed to do the same thing I can paint yeah. these this stuff all day long yeah 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 wow. but this is a real mm, it's mm -hmm. very nice the first ones I did are, I'm not, I'm not scared anymore. I know, I <laughs> love good, that. I'm good, you know, I've done 30 and so I, I'm, right. good, I'm good. I can paint anything. And you know enough about yourself to know that you, you accept these challenges uh, willingly. Very much, it's fun. You know. It's, it's penance. <laughs> yeah. Penance for your playtime. <laughs> we'll see how, how you really like, can you do this? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm breaking these things up. I love it. Um, well, you should get a grant. And keep doing oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's Houston Arts Council recording Houston artists. That's a thought. While we're still alive. 
I. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I, I realize that my age is. Uh, that's a, upon me. It is. It's occurred to me about looking into a. And that's why I'm painting my group who have breakfast. Is that we're all getting up. In age. Ah, yeah. So while I practice first, now I'm concentrating on myself and Perry and Richard Stout and Harvey Bott, mm -hmm. Roberta Harris, and all that. So we're going to, I'm doing those practically next. Next. Yeah. So. Wow. I've always been happy that you were in Houston. Me too. <laughs> I wasn't for a while. I wasn't. I know. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I never really moved. I never moved. Well, I went to New York for a year, I went to Rome for four years, mm -hmm. but I never moved to Santa Fe. Oh. I was always here, teaching. Yeah. Yeah, you were at Rice and... I was, I'm still teaching at Lone Star College in uh, Tomball, Texas. Okay. Okay. I've been there going on 30 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's a really nice place to be, to work, and I love my students, and it's a nice place. Yeah. I liked it when I got there, and it's like, oh, well, I just think I'll stay around. Mm. Here I am. Working with young minds. Yeah. <laughs> New artists. Yep. All kinds of them. You only get a few ever who went on. I had two who were with me in, thir in almost 30 years. I've only had two that I know of who went on to be practicing artists. Oh, yeah. I've heard, I've heard this. But that's true. Thing. Yeah. I mean, how many history teacher, history majors go on to be history majors? True, yeah. It's one of those passages that if you want to do it like that, you do it. Yeah. Why not? I know. You learn something being an artist. I don't know of anything else to do. And it makes me feel good. Yeah. And if it doesn't make you feel good, don't do it. My gosh, yes. And I've learned that over my lifetime is that, gosh, it feels good to do this, and I'm glad I'm doing it. Yeah. And I intend to do it as long as I can. And, uh, oh yeah, I want to sell paintings. I want to be rich and famous. But I live in one room. I don't need much. <laughs> I need yeah, a brush. No. I need some paint. I have, I have walls to hang on mm -hmm. and air conditioner. And then I, and, a, and a computer. And then I'm I'm a good man. You're happy. Doing what you love. Do you want to talk about the portal series at all? I know you've sort of revisited that for the last recent years. Oh, I've been doing well every every painting is a portal. Period. Good, good. So yeah. square on the wall, you're looking into something. That's good. But I was painting some big abstract landscape paintings, and an opening opened up in it. I said, wait a minute. I could put another, I could put a representational landscape mm -hmm. in this abstracted landscape and see if I can combine them. Uh, yeah. And I thought, that's pretty nice. So I did four or five of them, and then I put them away for a while, then, I, then something else happened, and I started doing portals, and I went portal crazy. <laughs> yeah. So after two years, finally they're winding down now, but I did 120 oh, wow. portal paintings. Yeah. And they got representational, abstract, figurative in them. Mm -hmm. So I began, the figure came back, so it was a great experience. It's a nice focusing on a certain way of looking, as opposed to scattershot. Yeah. So I, this is where I am now, but then I started this Tex-Mex series, which is like going back to 40 years ago when I first went to Mexico. Oh, God, that's, that's, that's what I'm seeing in some of And you eyes. see, it's Mexico, but it's Texas, mm -hmm. Mexico, and it's much different. It's not, it doesn't portals, it's more it's simpler, it's more abstract expressionist, mm -hmm. and it's an extensuation, so it's a new, new way of working. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was great fun to suddenly yeah. start doing, it's really a, a throwback, like cow skulls I did in the 70s, mermaids I did in the 70s and 80s, yeah. palm trees, comets, <laughs> all these things were part of my uh, imagery back in the good old days. Yeah. 
those good old days, which are now everybody going, oh, the good old days. <laughs> yeah, we had a, it was good. I mean, I, I thoroughly came of age then. But I'm using those images. Yeah. Yeah, but they appeal to you. Still. But they're different. They're different. They're yeah. done differently. Mm -hmm. They're with a different kind of, say, oh, I hate this word, sophistication. Yeah, yeah, no. Your perspective is different. I know how to paint. That's true. <laughs> I've learned how to paint. You have learned I how have, to paint. I have no doubt about how to paint. Yes. And for a while, I, I had a lot of self-doubt, a lot of ego. You have to have a big ego. Oh, I've heard that. Without an ego, you're, you're, you're destroyed. Yeah. And you got to get some applause. Without applause, sometimes there is no applause. Uh. But Houston, you can get applause. Okay. <laughs> I'll you take get a, your word you get applause. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not an expert on this. I'm not either. <laughs> I no. think what artist is, maybe there are some out Oh yeah, there. there are very good artists. There's a people who know how to sell their work. I just don't either. But they, they, they are different than you and I. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. They like to press the hands. And they somehow they can uh, sell, sell themselves. Yeah. We always have a little bit of doubt. <laughs> is it good enough? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Especially if no one Could you have done it better? <laughs> yeah. I've lost yeah. that doubt recently. I really good. I have, no oh, good. I have no doubt anymore. It's a waste this of what, time. This is what it? I do. It's what you do. Yeah. And, it'll, and, it work, and as long as it works out for me, I assume that it'll work out for you. Oh, yeah. Nice thing about doing portraits. This is my portrait story. I've found, found a way to eliminate art from the picture. Oh. A portrait is an art. It's a portrait. Okay. So people look at it differently, like, does it really look like me? Oh, I know, yeah. Oh, you miss my nose. <laughs> if they're nice, they'll say nice. But it, it takes the art out of it. But you, you're you still okay. working with the art. You're still playing yeah, yeah. with the patterns, the designs, your, yeah. the composition, the emphasis, and all that stuff. Yeah. But the word art has disappeared. <laughs> I see what you're saying. This you're genius right. thing it's just, kind of... it came up, came to me the other day, because I remember... What started me on my individual quest was after reading all the, this is 1973, 74. Mm -hmm. If all was following the art, were art world of art magazines and following that thing, what's our New York doing? And so we're always playing with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... And in 74, I said, you know, I'm not going to make art anymore. Really? I'm not going to make art. I'm just going to tell stories. Okay. So I started to paint my stories, <laughs> and that's where I got into the bad, eventually into the Whitney and the bad painting show in New York City because of my storytelling yeah. uh, primitive look. <laughs> so that got me started. So from then on, I told stories. And we're Just, off. Uh, we're off. I want to thank you so much for doing this. I was so thrilled to know you wanted me to. I'm an egomaniac. <laughs> you know, I'll put on a show. I'm, 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 in, it, I'm in this for the money, darling. <laughs> well, I have to say, this Make has me been star. really enjoyable. And I love, I love uh, sharing this with you. And this. I'm about half done. I definitely want to stick around. You want to see, around. The, see, see the ending? Yeah, I'll, I'll stick around. Sure, I'll, you can I'll stay film here. A little. I'm going to just say to the viewers, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much.